Good morning, everybody. Here yeah, we can see we are outside today. We are brying fish here from SeaWork. And we're going to show you that it is not at all a drama. Stop being so worried about drying fish. It's only because you haven't been shown how easy it is. What I'm doing today is showing you how to do an angel fish. Nice big fish. It's been slit in the middle, opened up, butterflied. SeaWork has them ready prepared for you. I'll show you a pretty picture of it. And what I'm doing is something different. Instead of a, a, a light marinade with lemon and all of that, I'm going for Asian. Asian meaning it's not Chinese, it's not Indonesian, and it's not Thai. That means I'm taking garam masala, ginger, hoisin sauce, or in my case, I'm using oyster sauce, and then some chili, um, Worcestershire sauce, a whole lot of sauces, we're going to put it together, we're going to baste the fish in it, and then we're going to put the fish in the refrigerator for about an hour. What I say to think about it sins, and then we're going to show you how to do it just like that on the grill. No foil, no hassle. Twist, tip, fry, eat. Nine tablespoons, okay. Oyster sauce, plum sauce. Hot sauce. Brunt up, that's awesome. <laughs> That pretty much explains it. Our garam masala, also available at SeaWorks. Cumin, it's all the yummy spices. Probably coriander, grated ginger. I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle because I forgot to grate it. Right, so, if you don't have a grate, you can also just whack it with a knife. It is just such a lovely flavor. I love my cooking goodies. There we go. So we've got the wonderful basting sauce over here. Mix it. This is the fish I was telling you about. And here is one of the tips you must remember most importantly, other than your fish. It must be dry. Whether you're grilling it or brying it, it has to be dry because otherwise the steam heats off first, especially if you stick it in the oven or you're deep frying it. The water goes in, makes the oil cold, or it goes into the oven and makes steam, you're going to have beige fish. Use a kitchen towel, use dry towels, and seriously, press in, dry it up completely. Then also when you baste it, you don't even need oil or anything, you're just gonna, it's gonna go straight into the skin. It can then wait for as little as a half an hour, but obviously people, the longer that the sauce and the basting marinates, the nicer it pulls into the fish, because the fish cooks in all of 10 minutes. You're gonna put a little bit on this side, this side, we are going to baste very well when it's in the grill on the fire. Now I'm just putting a bit here to settle in. I'm gonna do what I usually do and use my hands. It's like a rub. Our beautiful fish inside. I'm gonna do this instead of all the time it takes. Dump it on, rub it in, and then we're gonna go put it in the fridge. And in about 30 minutes, we're gonna take it out and it's gonna be absolutely perfect to go on the brine. Also remember this, you want to put on a medium fry. Direct flame, not so good for this, but it must have a good heat to crisp up, but it cooks really, really quick, quickly, you'll be surprised. And there we go. This we're keeping for when it goes on the brine. Remember, we're gonna add lemon juice to it now. So our fish has gone wonderfully taken through to the fridge to marinate. And now before I forget, later on when it's basting, add your lemon juice into your sauce that's gonna go on the fire. Avoid your pips, hold your hand underneath. So here we are, 30 minutes later to an hour. Our fish has been wonderfully thinking about its sins, marinating in its sauce. Remember, we're doing the Asian sauce. So it is not garlic and lemongrass as usual. And it's been soaking half an hour minimum. You can leave it in all afternoon. Zap it up. And when you're on frying it, you're gonna to wanna to put the skin side first. And when you turn it, do two minutes, turn it around, baste it one last time and then no more, what did Russell say? Eight minutes, I say seven minutes. Right, can you see there? Look how beautiful the skin's going. They look a bit surprised at what's happened to them. We're just gonna, it'll serve the purpose. You don't wanna make it too, too saucy because the crisp skin is, well, personally, I love it. And then the other fish, when you turn it around, flakes away from it. It'll actually, because between the skin, the fish skin and the, is the fat, fat layer. So if it gets really crispy, you just peel the fish off it. You have a basting, a rustle, a rustle finger. What I want to show you is when they say flaky fish, 
You're going to take it. And you see, it just. So, what do you do? It's your grater. I'm going to take that off to show you. Let's take your piece. Do that. You, I like the skin. You can take it off, put it on the plate, or just eat it like that. Let's have a bite. Yes. The briar tastes always. Is it working?